Hey everybody, Winstreak here. Today's question comes from Ezekiel Rage, and they are looking to make a boss character jump from one hole to another hole randomly uh, with a smooth arc. So, I believe we've accomplished just that. Without further ado, we'll hop into the code. Uh, right now, I am selected on my enemy. It is just hidden behind this random hole here. Uh, he has five instance variables, which we will get into later. Otherwise, he has no behaviors. And then we have four holes. Uh, each one is just a copy of the initial hole. And something to note, my UIDs count up and are consecutive. So we just have two, three, four, and five. And that's actually something I use later on to select the random hole that we land in. Uh, so we will keep that in mind. So hopping into our code, we have a random number global, and I will set a random number every time I left click. And this is where I use the UID for the holes. So I'm going to set a random number between 0 and 3, because this int floors that. So it can either give me 0, 1, 2, or 3, and then plus 2. So that will give me 2, 3, 4, and 5, which were my whole UIDs. So if I come back over here, uh, do, 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 do. all right, let's select on all of them. Uh, you can see UID 2, 3, 4, and 5. So each time I click, it's going to grab a new random number between those and store it in random. And once I call my function, I pass that random number, and that's how I select what hole. And then I set T, which is going to be used in the LERP algorithm. Uh, and that's just the number between 0 and 1. It essentially takes that percentage of where the item currently is. It's a little confusing. I tr will try not to get too deep into it, because I will just confuse myself. But um, it just goes from 0 up to 1, and 50 would be the halfway point, if that makes sense. Um, so we're going to set that to 0, and then we will call our set each perimeter. Sorry, we will call function 1, um, which I just named set each perimeter under uh, one of my groupings there. And that's going to take in my random number, so that's will be my UID selector. And all I'm going to do is say I want the hole with that random number. So easy enough, this gives me three. It picks the hole with UID three. And once it's picked, I set the instances on my enemy other than T. So T was already set up here to zero. And now we fill in these ones. So I have X and Y of my actual enemy. And then I have X and Y of the hole with UID on it. So it's going to jump from the enemies X and Y to this random holes X and Y. And then to actually do that, uh, this is going to automatically run because it is because T is set to uh, 0, which is less than 1. And essentially, we're running min self T. So self would be enemy of t which is 0 and that will climb all the way up to 1 and this will be 0 0.05 here is going to be the speed and delta time just keeps the time the same for the game no matter how fast or slow people's computers are uh, to a max of 1 so as that happens we are going to set the position and the x position will be X start and X end, which I set up here. X start and X end, which is going to be the starting position of my enemy to the end position, the hole. And then same with the Y. And then each one gets a self T. That way it moves them along the path with that 0 to 1 timer, essentially. And then we will additionally add a height. And this formula is some fancy calculus-esque arc formula um, but we grab the y position and then we add the height we want to go above our current y position and then we just plug this in 
and then this will be sorry we plug this whole thing in here so the only thing we would potentially edit is this 250 here which would be our height and show this one more time so that's my current jumps I have these jump height and slowness that we can just plug in over uh, just to make it easier to remember down the down the road so if we switch that to slowness and then we switch that to jump height then whenever I want to make edits all I have to do is change it right here and we made it three times slower and jump a little higher so you can see the differences that happen hopefully that was understandable uh, let me know in the comments or on the forum uh, otherwise hopefully it helped have a good one